Hello everyone, today is Saturday, October 20th, 2018. I haven't really gotten a chance to recap some of the baseball action from the past couple of days. I know I recapped Wednesday's action, but I figured I would recap uh, the deciding game for the Boston Red Sox, which is Game 5 of the ALCS, which helped them clinch the American League pennant back on Thursday. I would recap that game and talk about the controversy from that game, which I'll get into in, in just a second. I'll recap what happened first from the stat line, and I'll recap the Dodger-Brewer game from last night, which the Brewers were able to force a Game 7, which should be decided later tonight, which I'm going to make a little bit of an epic rant about um, Fox in just a second here, on why this game should honestly be on the should be available all around the country. Shouldn't be on cable tonight. So I'll make a rant about that later on. But um, pretty much, let's recap this game first. So the Boston Red Sox won the American League pennant, their first World Series appearance since 2013. So we'll get into it right now. So what happened was the scoring didn't happen until third inning. J.D. Martinez hit a home run to left on a 1-2 count. And the icing on the cake for the Red Sox was Rafael Devers' um, left field. So on the first pitch, Mitch Moreland and Ian Kinsler scored. And Marwin Gonzalez' uh, home run for the Astros. But that was it. That's all the scoring as the Boston Red Sox won. And thus, they are in the 2018 Major League Baseball World Series. So now we're going to recap um, what happened here in this controversial play. Uh, hopefully I can uh, load it for you all, get rid of the annotation. So I have it on mute so that way I don't get claimed for copyright. But I'm going to show you the pictures from the game right now. So here's what happened. It looked like Jose Altuve was going to hit a home run to right field, right? But one of the fans trying to interfere with the play. And this story uh, has been making national headlines and uh, I'll leave it on the card right now. Inside Edition actually interviewed the guy who interfered with the play. Who interfered with it. So, we'll get an up close angle of it right now. Play it from here. So as you can see here, that the guy in the orange shirt, see where my mouse is? That's the guy who interfered with the play. They're going to show it again here on the replay. And there he is. He's interfering with it. That white guy in the shirt. And then there's another guy in the gray shirt. He's trying to interfere with it. But uh, imagine if that fan didn't touch the ball. I'll to, uh, that play, the outfielder, right? Jackie Bradley was making the catch. Oh, Mookie Betts was trying to make the catch. My bad. Mookie was trying to make the... Let's see. Who was trying to make the catch? Let's just confirm it right now. Right, so Betts was trying to make that play in the outfield for the uh, Red Sox. That's who was trying to make that play. Okay. As long as I keep the audio on mute, I won't get claimed for copyright. So that's the main thing. I just wanted to show you um, what happened in regards to what took place. But the Boston Red Sox are in the World Series. They will be playing Game 1 at Fenway on Tuesday night, the 23rd. Meanwhile, in the NLCS, we have a tied series. We have a Game 7 tonight. And I'll make my epic Fox rant in just a second because a lot of people are going to agree with me on this. So, the Dodgers... If they had won, they would have went back to the World Series. But the Brewers did a lot of things right last night. Corey, yeah, surprisingly the Dodgers, yeah, I thought Ryu had an advantage, but nope, didn't happen. So, the impressive thing about the Brewers last night was after David Freeze let off the game with a home run in that first inning. The Brewers were able to get four runs in that first inning. Jesus Angular RBI double. That got two runs in. Mike Moustakis RBI double. Eric Kratz RBI single. 
And then it became the Brewers show. Ryan Braun's RBI double. Christian Yelich was able to score. And Christian Yelich, I gotta give the guy credit. Even though he really hasn't done anything impressive, just getting on base in this series is a good impressive thing for Christian Yelich. Which that should make his case for MVP even more spectacular here. But David Fries, another... You know, he able to get another run in for the Dodgers. So David Fries was the only guy that got the runs in for the Dodgers last night. And uh, nobody homered last night, so nothing spectacular here. But now I gotta make my epic rant about um, the game being on Fox Sports 1 tonight, which I got a problem with that. So I'm looking at my TV Guide app, and it says that tonight there's a football game going on, a college football game, Oregon playing Washington State. And I'm saying to myself, uh, this is a game seven of a deciding championship series to decide who will go to the World Series. And you mean to tell me you're not going to put that college football game on FS1 and not have this game on the main Fox network available on over-the-air television? I'm very annoyed with Fox Sports. They have a, they still have a chance to rectify the situation. They can tell Pac-12, sorry, we're not putting a game on tonight on our main network. You're going to be on FS1. And we have to put this game on because it's more important for the country to watch this game. And keeping in mind, I understand that Fox has the World Series. I get all that. But Fox Sports is, you know, the major network here. I mean, you, you can't just change the programming. I got a problem with that. So if anybody agrees... Uh, let me know, but I'll quickly go into the pitching matchup tonight. Walker Bueller will be taking on Chonlus Chanjin. So, obviously, the weather shouldn't be a factor in Milwaukee. Because remember, M uh, Miller Park is an indoor stadium. So, obviously, would you consider that to be a factor? I would say yes. And I'm thinking, if I'm tempted to, I might simulate this game on MLB The Show. I might do a live stream uh, on this channel, not the gaming one, because this is a very important game. I'm I'm thinking if I can fit in some time, I might do some gameplay and simulate the games on the show, if I can find my disc somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up this recap. I'll be back tomorrow with the recap of Game 7 of the NLCS. We will definitely know tomorrow who the National League team is will be playing the Boston Red Sox. Which team will be playing, Dodgers or Brewers? We need to find that out, so I'll recap it tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Till the next one, please take care.